On Friday, Tulsi Gabbard put up a tweet where she asked Biden and Sanders to get the DNC, or rather come and support her in her request to be part of the final, I think it's the final, the next debate, which takes place after this week's voting, and how uh, they could, the DNC, she accused the DNC of trying to keep her off the stage, which I agree with. <laughs> um, there are a lot of people who, which includes myself, were asking why she hasn't dropped out yet, because She's only won this many delegates so far, but I was hoping that maybe the reason she persisted in staying in despite basically not really getting anywhere is because she was going to be part of the final debate, or at least one of these debates, and just tear into Biden, because we all know that Sanders likes to kind of, you know, do the... Biden, Biden is my friend, and I respect him, and all of that. So it would have been really refreshing to see her go on, and, and remember that this would still be different from the other debates, because it would just be the three of them, so each one of them would get much more time than they would usually have. But instead, we're stuck with what's probably going to be a Basically, if she doesn't participate, and it doesn't look like she is going to, we're going to get a debate of hoping that either Sanders stops trying to keep saying that he's friends with Biden every two seconds, um, or Biden screwing up so badly that it makes him look worse than any of the attacks that Sanders could have used. And that's really what's so sad, that a lot of times my rhetoric comes across as, uh, you know, just being pro-Sanders no matter what, but I'll fully criticize him for wanting to have a revolution, but then still trying to be friends with the people who oppose you at every turn. And, you know, if I were him after the electoral nightmare that was Super Tuesday, or as I call it, Stupid Tuesday, I would be going in, I would tell Tulsi in a tweet, I want you to be part of this. The corrupt establishment is trying to stop you from being part of the debate. Every time I went on TV for that whole week, I would say, my fellow presidential candidate uh, is being kept out of this debate. It's unfair. It's not right. And if Biden believe, My point is that when you have an ally like Gabbard that's still around in this capacity, he should capitalize on it. So this is, if, if Sanders doesn't write anything back or come out for it, it's, it's really a not bright decision.